Okay, he stays up. Hey, it's Kai. Amen, 11 a.m. Sunday morning. 11 a.m. Sunday morning, another time in our lives to worship and praise the Lord. Why don't we stand? Why don't we stand and lift up those hands and worship the Lord? Uh, lift up those hands and present ourselves before the Almighty and living God and just let them know that you love him and let them know that you care. You care for him. You care about his work. You care about his dear son, Jesus Christ. You care about the souls of men. God, we thank you. We praise you. We honor you. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Touch us this morning. Heavenly Father, we just want you to love, love on us. We bless, we bless your name. We lift, we lift you up. And here in this service, no matter how we feel, we choose. We choose to worship you. We choose to glorify you. We choose to honor you. Amen. Jesus, because you are the very lover of our soul. Jesus, because you are the very center of our joy. Jesus, you are the lover of our soul. And the center, the center of our joy. Amen. Let us prepare to sing.
worship him. Worship him. Thank you, Jesus. Worship him. Amen. Worship him. Is he the lover of his soul? When he saved his soul that night, that morning, that evening, that afternoon, did he become the very lover of his soul? Do you need him? Do you love him? And when you worship him, when you worship him, until the very end, don't you know Christ loves you today? Yes. He loves you. Yes. With an everlasting love. Amen. He wants to dole out some of that love. Yes. Thank you. Amen. 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 As Brother Nelson comes with the song of the day, you may be seated.
social distancing, whatever else it may be. Welcome everyone here. You may be seated. Amen. You can follow along if you have your digital Bible, your Bible Bible. Follow along and we can read the Bible together. We can read the Bible together. Amen. 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 Mark chapter 9 verse 14. And when he came to his disciples, he saw a great multitude about them and the scribes questioning them. And straightway all the people, when they beheld him, were greatly amazed and running to him, saluted him. And he asked the scribes, what question ye with them? And one of the multitude answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which hath a dumb spirit. And wheresoever he taketh him, he teareth him, and he foameth, and he gnasheth with his teeth, and pineth away. And I spake to thy disciples that they should cast him out. They could not. And he answered him and saith, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. Bring him unto me. Bring him unto me. And they brought him unto him. And when he saw him, straightway the spirit tear him. And he fell on the ground and wallowed foaming. At the priest's studio, the title of the message is called Connected to the Pain. Connected to the Pain. Reverend Nelson, if you'll stand and pray for the message, the messenger. Father, we thank you this morning for that wonderful love. Father, for touching us this morning with your finger of love, giving us this opportunity to come to receive from your word, God. We pray, Lord, that you touch every heart and every life, Lord God, that hears this message, Lord, and we ask that you would auction your messenger afresh. Make preaching easy, Lord, and for all that you will do and accomplish, we'll be careful to give you all the glory, all the praise, and all the honor. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Not sure what that was, I guess something's going on. Amen. Somebody else is in service. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. There was this person that worked at a restaurant town. They worked at a restaurant town, and this person, uh, there were a cook there, and there were some employees that worked there also uh, uh, um, at this restaurant. But they weren't in the kitchen. They didn't. They weren't cooks or anything like that. They just. They just worked there. And so there's this cook there that works there. And the cook cooked food, and, and the cook also served food.
food just as well. And there were a couple guys that worked there, and they, they went to lunch one day, and one of the guys seen the cook, and they said, you know, that cook just seems so out of touch and really doesn't communicate with people or anybody too much, just serves the food and, you know, just does his thing, does her thing, and she just served the food, that was it, not really talkative or anything like that. And one of the guys said, you know, she's, she's kind of grumpy. She's kind of grumpy. She's old. She's kind of grumpy. And, and one of the other guys that he was talking to, he said, well, you know, maybe she's not grumpy. Maybe she's going through a few things. Yes. Mm. Maybe you need to connect with her. Yes. Maybe you need to say hi and not have this preconceived notion that this woman is grumpy. Yes. Okay? Amen. Get to know her a little bit. Find Amen. a soft spot. Speak to her. Nobody be friendly yes. to her. Make this connection with her. And so the guy, he makes this connection with the lady and begins to know her a little bit here and there. And then one day, these guys, they go to lunch again, right? And the lady's no longer there. She's no longer there. And they're like, hey, the new cook's there. Uh, hey, where's the other lady that was here? The guy said, well, she passed away. She passed away. He said, well, well, what happened? He said, the lady had cancer for like three or four years. And the guy felt bad because first he judged her and said she was grumpy and oh, talking to him. And he did make somewhat of a connection to her, but he didn't make the real connection to her, her circumstance and why she was going through what she was going through. Right. He didn't connect to her pain. Yeah. And a lot of times Jesus. folks don't do that. We become out of touch. Yes. We become out of touch. But here Christ was connected to this man's pain in our body when Christ understood the suffering, okay, of the man's pain for his son. And a lot of us feel like that for our loved ones, maybe, or a family member, possibly, okay? We're connected to their pain, yes. or we should be connected to their circumstance, their unemployment, uh, death in the family, yes, yes. certain things here. Yes. And so making a connection uh, to people's pain can be seriously difficult and it can be seriously you cannot see it at times that we have a preconceived notion of why and uh, they went they are the way they are christ asked the man in 921 and he asked his mother how long is it ago since this came unto him and he said of a child yes. so this 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 son here the father Okay, he's been connected to his son's pain since he was a child. Yes. Year after year after year after year mm. after year. Mm. And all times he had cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us yes. and yes. help yes. us. Amen. The, yeah. the, the, guy, the guy's father was asking him, Christ. Yes. I need yeah. you to connect to my pain. Yeah. I need you to connect to my son's situation. Yes. I need you to connect to my daughter's situation. Yes. I need you to help me. Yeah. Just connect. Yeah. Have yeah. compassion. Yes. When a person is connected to the pain, indirectly or directly, it can wear them down. You know, when you connect to somebody else's troubles and somebody else's pains, it can wear you down mentally, okay? It can wear you down socially. It can wear you down physically. It can wear you down day in and day out. And you may get frustrated saying, this is not my responsibility. But yet it is knocking yes. at your door. Yes. Yeah. It's okay to be connected to somebody else's issues. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay? God maybe has purposed you for that. Yeah. And we are here, right, to yeah. reach souls Amen. in Dallas, Texas. Amen. Because oh. what? Amen. Because people are having painful situations. Yeah. Yeah. And we're supposed to connect to their pain. A lot of times the flesh doesn't want to. Mm -hmm. I want nothing to do with that. I don't have five dollars. I don't want to get you any food. You're too close to me. You smell. You always ask me for something. Jesus. And God's like, you need to get connected to this pain. Amen. You gotta understand. Some of these things aren't going away until we address them. Amen. And you may have one or two people in your life already got painful situation. 
Yeah. Right? Yeah. One or two already. Yeah. And we got to connect to them. Yes. We can't just brush it off and, yeah. and say, I can't do this. Uh, my dad was real sick, and I wasn't saved. Mm. He was really sick, and I wasn't saved. I come over to his house, and he'd be in a, 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 a diabetic coma, I found out later. Mm. Just out. Just there. I didn't know what was going on. And so my mother was telling me, but, you know, we call ambulance, ambulance come over and do their thing. My mom would come over and do her thing and this, that, and the other. And uh, I stayed there at the house at the time with just me and my dad. And my mom was telling me, well, here's all his pills, Monday through Friday. Here's all his pills here. And he gets these on Monday and Tuesday he got this. And this is this. And this is for that. And I'm saying in my head, I can't do this. Mm. I'm saying in my head, I, I don't got this. I'm not saved. I didn't know nothing about salvation, serving God, thankfully at home. I went to church, and she's giving me the rundown. Now I'm a nurse. And I don't get it. I couldn't connect to this pain. And I missed out on that. I should have been saved then. And a lot of times we can't, we say we can't do it. Oh, and see, we miss out. We, there's yes. a lot of people that need help. Oh, and, and things spin out of control. You got parents, right? And, and, and their daughters and their sons are drug addicted. And they're spiraling and spinning out of control. Yeah. And we don't want to connect to their pain. And we try yeah. and distance ourselves from them. And it's just not going away, right? Yeah. Their issue's not going yeah. away. Because we've got to connect to it. We have right. to address it. Yes. We have to confront these issues that we're yes. facing. Even the issues now, we got to face them. Amen. You can't stay in the house all day. You will eventually have to go outside, That's go right. somewhere. Amen. They stop delivering food to your door, you will go outside. Some of these things keep you up all night. Yes. Other people's pain keep you up all night. Yes. Keep you worrying all night. Mm -hmm. But we got to have the right perspective. Amen. we got to have the message compassion on Amen. us. He mm -hmm. tells us, like you ask Christ, have compassion on us. He yes. tells us, yes. have compassion on Amen. those that are yes. going through, that are going through painful situations. We need to have compassion on people that are experiencing the pains of COVID right now and other nations just as well yes. that don't have, that are poverty stricken Amen. right now. We need to connect to them and Amen. pray for them Amen. and love them. Somebody's life is spinning out of control right now. Somebody's yes. life is spinning out of control because they said, people don't understand me. They don't get what I'm going through right now. Oh. And we don't, right? Because what do we do? We live the life, some folks like the rich and famous. I have, I'm not suffering. It's not about you. It's about me. And that's not how the Christ is Amen. destined us to be here that's on earth. Right. That's right. That's not how he destined us to be on earth. Right now is a true time of stab and grab. You got some people helping others, but you got some just staying in their little corner. You can't stay in your corner. That's right. Bro. Yes. We can take these things to the Lord. We can take control of the situation mm -hmm. and take this thing to the Lord, right? And cast this care upon him, right? Yes. God, I'm connected to the situation. That's not about me, God. And it's indirect, God. Oh. Whether it be a member or a family member or a church yes. member or a co-worker, right. I'm connected to their troubles. This person yeah. that works keeps spilling their guts on me, God, yeah. about all their problems. One man told another man about a murder. The man was like, why did you tell me that? Mm. Some things you don't want to be connected to. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you become part of the history. That's right. God help us. Mm. We can take it to the Lord, though, casting all our care upon him, for he cares for us. Yeah. He does care for us, so we give it to him. God, this person is coming to me, and they need assistance, and they need guidance, and they need help, God. And then what Solomon did, Solomon said, Lord, how am I going to lead these people? Mm -hmm. 
I need knowledge. I need wisdom. Yes. I need understanding. Yes. We can ask God yes. for the same yes. exact thing. Amen. Amen. We can ask God for the That's same right. exact thing. That's God, I need right. wisdom yes. to encourage yes. people yes. to lead them through this COVID-19 yes. fast. Amen. God, I need the yes. understanding yes. to lead people oh, through all these things that are going on. on. Oh, yes. God, this is unemployment. God, help me to help lead these people on. and yes. guide these people Amen. with their troubles. Amen. Same thing that Jehu, uh, uh, not Jehu, but Jethro did with Moses. Moses, I used to the people to lead here. You got to connect her all their pains. Oh, you got to spread this out. Mm -hmm. right, and sometimes you may have to dispatch that. Right. Sister, can you reach out to sister so and so? Because mm. uh, she's, you seem to have a better connection with her. That's right. Brother, can you reach out to so and so? You seem to have a better connection with them. This man was asking Jesus to have compassion, have concern, have kindness, have empathy, have sympathy, yes. have care, yes. be tenderhearted, Amen. connect to the pain of feeling, Lord. Yes. Ask yourself, when's the last time you connected to somebody's pain? Oh, when's the last time you connected to somebody's pain? A lot of times we miss out on helping people. Because we don't connect to their pain. Mm. We distance ourselves. No, stay out of that. Stay away from that. Oh, I try to distance myself from so many things since I've been here. Mm -hmm. And God just brings it right back around. Mm -hmm. Or he brings another situation right back around. Mm -hmm. It's just mm -hmm. the same situation, but different characters involved. Mm -hmm different people involved. Mm -hmm. And I say, God, I get it. That's right. I got to address this thing yes. and until I get past this hump here. Yes. You want me to address this. Yes. And I don't got nothing to do with any of it. But it seems to come back in my lap again. Yes. We tell folks, hey, this, you need to get it together. You need, if they don't get saved, life will change. Yes, we know that. But they can't make that connection yet. But maybe through you, maybe through your love and tender kindness, okay, and maybe through our soft answers that we give them, a person can make a connection. A lot of folks don't want to come to church because of the situation. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. And it's understandable. I talked to a preacher yesterday. He said, he was at Walmart, and he seen one of the members. He said, yeah, man, you, I know you ain't come to church. You at Walmart. <laughs> oh, sir, I, I, <laughs> praise God. Wow. <laughs> you wow. out and about. You at, oh. you at Whataburger, and you can't, why can't you come to church? Yes. yes. Wow. I feel your pain. I feel your understanding here. God is in control, but take all precaution you can, though, right? Be safe. Mm -hmm. Be safe. Be safe. But we have to connect to the pain of others. We have to connect to the pain and suffering of others. Why? Because it's our duty, right, to do so. Even if they're not kin to us, even if they're not blood to us, connected to the pain of others brings about intercession. Yes. Yeah. yes. Brings about yes. you interceding. The man was asking Christ to intercede for me. Yes. Yeah. I need somebody to get involved here. Yes. I need you to get involved specifically. I need you to get involved. We need Christ involved. We need his yes. help right now, don't Amen. we? This whole nation, Amen. this whole town, Thank our households, our family members. We need Christ involved right now. We need to ask God to oh, have compassion on this nation and yes. other nations around the world, Jesus God. Help us, God. Lord. We need to be talking like the man here. Yes. It's like the world is possessed with COVID. Yes. It's really just crazy. It's like COVID should drive a person to come to Christ, not drive you to stay home, okay? It should drive a prayer life. Okay, make your prayer life stronger and things of that nature. You know, the, the COVID may be a nasty thing, okay, but the end of the story can be glorious. Yeah. All right, folks, you can get saved behind this. You can be changed behind all of this. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. 
The centurion man was connected to the pain of his servant. Yeah. He was. And Luke 17 it says, and a certain centurion servant, right, who was dear unto him was sick and ready to die. He didn't say he was going to die. He said he was ready to die. Mm -hmm. I'm so sick, I'm ready to die. And when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. I know hey, if you don't have a connection with Christ, get a hold of somebody Amen. else who has a connection Amen. with Christ Good. to connect to the pain Amen. and help the situation. Yes. When he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. And when they came to Jesus, they besought him instantly. They vouched for this guy, saying that he was worthy for whom he should do this. Mm -hmm. We got a man who's on our side. He needs a blessing from you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. For he loveth our nation, and he hath built us a synagogue. Sinner folks. Wow. Sinner folks. Wow. Loving their nation. This is the treatment. Loving the nation. Loving the nation. Building them a church. Have I built you a church? I want to go to your church. Then Jesus went with them. And when he was now not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying unto him, Lord, Trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof. Wherefore, neither thought I myself worthy to come unto thee, but say in a word, my, and my servant shall be healed. I just yes. need you to pray and speak this yeah. thing. Yes. And I believe that Amen. it's going to take place. Amen. You can make connections through prayer. God, yes, if you just say it right now, That's God, right. we can be oh, healed. But yes. we can go to God right now and ask Him, yes. God, can you move upon this nation Amen. and the congregation and the members in the churches Amen. and make the Amen. connection that souls would be changed, yes. that we would be healed, Hallelujah. that we would be comforted, that yes. lives would be changed, God, yes. that we would come to you, uplift in your name, God, that yes. we may have this righteous relationship with you yes. through this healing, oh God, yes. through this remodeling of our soul. He says, for I also am a man set under authority. I got power too, but it's not like Jesus' power. Oh. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Put that in there, huh? That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> he said, "I got power too, mm -hmm. but you got you got, got more power." power than I. <laughs> Having under me soldiers, and I say unto one, "Go," and he goeth; and to another, "Come," and he cometh. Yeah. And to my servant, do this. And he doeth it. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him, and he turned him about and said unto the people that followed him, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. Yes. Christ said this man gets it. Christ said this man gets it. Christ says, this man gets the, the, the compassion for his servant. Christ says he gets that. He gets the compassion for his servant. And he has faith. He has faith also. This man was connected to this faith. This centurion man was connected to the faith. And he understood it. And so he rolled out. Hey, this is what I do on my part of authority. And I know you have a different type of authority that yes. can change my servant's life. That's right. See, they're all connected. When we make that connection on behalf of somebody else and with Christ, mm -hmm. lives can be changed. Yeah. They can be changed. Amen. And they that were sick, returning to the house, found the servant whole that had been oh. sick. Yes, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, That'd be nice Lord, if we could... Wake up tomorrow and everything will be whole again. Hallelujah. The United States is 
and all the nations across the world it, Lord. is sick. Grant it, Jesus. The whole world has a virus. Yes. The whole world is impacted. God help us. Yes. When you connect to the pain of others, the Lord will meet you there. I'm about to close here. Mordecai was connected to the pain. Mordecai was connected to the pain. Yes. I'm about to come to his people and the Jews. And when I read this, I, I, I kind of laughed and I said, look at this guy. He was all over it, Mordecai. Right. He said, he reached out to Esther. He said, don't hide. He said, don't hide. He said, let the king know what's going on. That's don't hide right. behind your kingdom. That's don't right. hide behind your money. That's don't right. hide behind your riches. That's There's right. issues outside these walls That's that you're right. living in. That's right. There's issues here. That's and right. God doesn't want us to hide. That's A lot right. of us are hiding right now, mm -hmm. but God wants us to reach out. Amen. He wants us to reach out. block it out. Can't block out the pain. Don't need to block out the pain. That's got to block out my pain. When it comes my turn, right? Yes. That was your turn, Brother Chapman, and you got paid. Yeah. And now you're asking for help. Yeah. I'm going to block it out. Yeah. I'm going to block it out because guess yeah. what? You need help and others needed help. Yeah. It's time for us to help. Amen. Oh, we don't want to forget about others and forget about their life. Yeah. Mordecai, here's what Mordecai said. It's almost funny, but it's real. Then Mordecai commanded to answer Esther, Think not, look what he says, Think not with thyself that thou shalt escape in the king's house. <laughs> That's oh, right. God. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can't escape. Amen. Yeah. Don't think not with yourself that you're trying to escape. A lot of people trying to escape. Yes. Build up the fridge, right? Build up the freezer. Build it up. Think not with thyself that thou shalt escape in the king's house more than all the Jews. You have access to his power, Esther. Okay? Yes. You're a husband, the king. That can change some things for us. We, as servants of God, have access to the power that can change people's lives. Yes. We have access to the power. We connect to their pain, and then we connect to Christ. That's right. Because Christ, what did he do? He connected, what, to our pain. He knew we were dying and lost to go to hell. Yes. Unless he came, yes. right, yes. and redeemed us, unless the Father didn't connect to our pain, it wasn't going to happen. But he did. Think not with thyself that thou shalt escape in the king's house more than all the Jews. For if thou altogether holdest thy peace at this time, look at that. Are we holding our peace? Oh. If you hold your peace at this time, Master, <laughs> he says, then shall their enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. But thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. I'm going to throw your dad in this. Mm. You and your father's house, Esther. Esther's parents weren't around. But he said, the terms back then, they said, the father's house, your That's father's right. house, your lineage. Yes. Everybody of your seed. Yes. That's a lot. It is. That's a lot. It's not like we just, we're the only ones that, you know, uh, uh, say we cause on the ruckus and the bad things happen to us. Sometimes it runs down through the family lineage. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it runs through that. It says, but thou in thy father's house shall be destroyed, and who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this. You know, he says, the purpose of all of this here, you being married to the king and you in the king's household, how do you know this God didn't, right, have this time, put you in there for times such as this? Because yes. God knew Haman was going to raise yeah. up against the Jews, okay? Yes, yes. So God does things far in advance. Yeah. And we know this. And we know this. Yeah. It's our duty as servants of God yes. to be connected to the pain of others. It's our duty as our servants of God to be connected to the pain of others, whether it be a widow, whether it be a preacher or a pastor, 
whether it be a family member or a friend, whether it be a co-worker, whether it be a stranger. Are you connected to the pain of others? They don't have to be family. But they are. They're all souls. So no matter whose pain you connect to, remember that person is a soul Amen. created in God's image. That person is a soul. And God is about redeeming souls. He has no throwaways. Because Christ connected Jesus, to the pain we should have received. Christ, surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Connecting to our pain. Connecting, all right? Not only connecting, but the end result that we may live in heaven with him and rejoice and serve him and love him, and adore him. Christ was what? Wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. He was connected to our pain. This is no time to be selfish. This is going to be a long series here, a blessed series of being connected, making the, ne the connections that Christ would have us to have the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, with his stripes we are healed. Yes, amen. Christ was connected to our pain. He, he knew the end. These folks can't go to hell. They can't have that pain. That's way too much. And he was connected. We can get better at being connected to people's pain whether it be online or a nation or whoever it may be. It's okay to connect to somebody else's pain. It's okay if it comes before you and you ask God, why me? Why me? God wants you to make that connection. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. That was a connection right there. We owe it to God. God's going to put people in front of us and put situations in front of us where, where we're going to have to connect to people's situation. Amen. And some of us already have, and we have, right? But to know the, the depth of it, to know the, the, the importance of it, that's not about me. It's about connecting to somebody else's pain in their situation. Christ connected to the pain and, the, and he died for us. Oh, he connected you, to that whole thing there. You, I mean, who could ever imagine that? And I know it may seem lightly in the mind because you can't picture it. But if we were there on the scene and we seen what he went through, we'd be, oh my goodness. Because right now, we see what people go through and hear what they go through and read about what they go through and we're like, oh my goodness. Just imagine being there when Christ is going through what he's going through so we could be free. Mm -hmm. He was connected to our pain. Yes. I mean, direct connect. And he's wanting us to make the connection as well. He wants us to pray with others. He wants us to intercede with others. Mm -hmm. He wants us to reach others. He wants to build his kingdom. Mm -hmm. He wants to claim all those souls that he loves. Yes. Yeah. He's not willing that any should perish at all. He wants to claim them all. Amen. And he's going gonna, gonna to require what? His servants. His, service. yes. his servants assistant. His servants help. Allow God to use you. Allow him to purpose you. To connect to somebody else's pain. Yes. Tonight, today, after service, even now during the altar call. I beseech you to pray for somebody who's sick or needs a healing, yes. or is going through, connect to their pain, our financial struggle, or maybe death in the family, connect to their pain, make a genuine effort today, if not right now, 
to connect to somebody else's pain. Yes, amen. And allow their life a chance to be changed. Put all heads bowed and reverence to God. As brother comes. Connected to the pain. A lot of times we look at ourselves and we connect our own situations and we stay right there. And while it's comfortable and cozy in our corner with our coffee and our coffee cake, we smile and laugh and giggle. But one fades away. But the power of God sits inside of you and is waiting to redeem a soul and reach a soul and encourage a soul. Somebody else is withering because somebody hasn't connected to them. Let's connect folks to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let's connect folks to the living word. Let's connect folks to the cross by connecting to their pain. These altars are open. Let's all find a place to pray. Let's all find a place to pray. to the 
the pain of children. It can be real challenging. It can be tough, okay? And it can be bothering and bothersome, and it can, it can wear you down. Yes. But this man was connected to his son's pain as when he was a child. Yes. When he was a child. So, understand what God is trying to do in somebody else's life through you. Or making an effort to understand what God is trying to do in somebody else's life through you. Even though that person that you're trying to help and connect to their pain, they're not trying to turn to God. And they want to do things their way still. But we can still intercede for them with the hopes that God will change them. Because yes. somebody intercede for us, right? Amen. 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 And if it's a burden to you, that we give it to the Lord. We cast that care upon him, right? Yes, we amen. We cast that burden to him. We give it to him. Lord, this is heavy. Help me with this whole situation. Yes. Okay, even today, we got to pray for the governments and pray for the local governments that they, and the lawmakers that they make yes. good decisions because they're facing some painful situations too. Amen. Everybody is. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we're in this all together. We should all yes. be working together. Amen. 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 Please be mindful of our serve Memorial Day tomorrow, Monday, Memorial Day. Be praying. That'd be a blessed Memorial Day. I hope you have a blessed Memorial Day. Also pray for um, um, Tuesday service, Bible study at 7.30, and then Thursday service at 7.30 also. We Bible study will still be online, okay, live, but Thursday 7.30 service will be here in the church. Same with Sunday, Thursday service. Amen. And please support the church. Please support the church. Uh, uh, God will bless you if you support the church, of course. Um, and if you look up top there, you will see the actual. Oh, you can get it back up real quick. They can go back now.
support the church. I'll post it later. Uh, we have the Zell app and we have the actual uh, uh, um, Zell, and then we have the Cash app um, that you can send to NTCC. Dallas TX is the Cash app, and the Zell is 253. Uh, 732-5895. You want to start it from the new slide from the beginning. Yeah. Or you can look at us look us up online and you can give online at https uh, forward slash forward slash colon www.myntcc.org forward slash Dallas TX. Amen. Let's use my prayer. Reverend Morgan, will you stand and give us a service, please? Loving Father, we thank you for being here. We thank you for your love, your care. Father, this message, Heavenly Father, that speaks to our hearts deeply, Heavenly Father, about connecting to the very pain of others, Father, for we know that you do, as Jesus Christ connected to all our pain, our past, present, and future, Heavenly Father, and we look to you, Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith and what we have to do for you. And we ask you to bring us back to your house at the appointed time. Christ name we pray. Amen. Amen. Lord, you are good and your mercy endure it forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endure it forever. 